Never fear, Jobber's here, or should I say, Jobber is back. I've been tagged in this one a ton of times over my birthday weekend, so let's get into it. This one is very open and shut, pardon the pun. This particular video has done the rounds before and I've reacted to it before, but as it's come round again, I can confirm the parked car is still 100% responsible for the impact. This is absolutely no different to pulling out of a junction into the path of another car with 1.1 seconds until impact. 1.1 seconds is the time that elapsed between the door being opened and the impact with the door. And that is not enough time to be able to acknowledge, react and come to a controlled stop. Never mind the fact that once the driver had gotten out of the car, they'd probably need to call a taxi to get to the curb. Mind the gap. But yes, in this instance, the parked car is at fault for opening the door into the path of an established and correctly proceeding vehicle. Because as you're opening your door, you should be performing the Dutch reach, which is swinging your body around and opening the door with your opposing hand so that you can check behind you as you open the door. And if something was to be approaching, you would simply not open the door and be able to avoid the impact. If the driver of the car had done this, they'd have probably avoided this scenario. At the very least, you should be doing a blind spot and wing mirror check before opening the door. This is of course assuming the footage is readily available to both insurance companies. Should it not be, you would want the claim handlers to be asking the right questions to be able to determine who was completely responsible. Sometimes if the correct questions aren't asked, this outcome can be one that goes 50-50. But if the right questions are asked, there should be no reason to compromise liability in this scenario. Now for a common comment that the bungalows will often leave, you'll probably find this in the comments section section of this video. You shouldn't be passing parked cars that close. You should be a certain gap from the parked cars. Weirdly enough, this rule in the highway code isn't about motor vehicles. It only features in the section that pertains to cycling. Which is ironic because the kind of people that type this comment are the ones who probably have unconscious bias towards cyclists and hate anybody that rides a bicycle on the road. Furthermore, this is the UK where the majority of the time passing cars parked at the side of the road with such a gap is probably not feasible. Anyway, there you go. Like I said, open and shut case. Lovely jubbly, sound as a pound.